What up? It's Jimmy from Odds.com. This is a clip from our big NBA show. For if you want to check out the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on Odds.com. All right, we move on. And this is a beauty. 8 p.m. Eastern, Utah Jazz, 26-6, and 11-4 on the road at Miami Heat, 15-17, and 8-7 and 7 at home, American Airlines Arena in Miami, Florida. And we have no, no line from the offshore books. Can I get anything from any of these licensed books? Yes. Uh, Heat are five-and-a-half-point dogs. And I tell you what, that sounds pretty good to me. Mm. Now, Bam dealing with jumper's knee. Yeah, that's the issue. That is going to make me wait. For sure. But I like this spot. I like this spot here, but come on. I just got my ass kicked with the Lakers, so I'm not going to sit here all confident. Jazz pace last five, 11th in the NBA, 100.60 possessions a game. Heat pace last five, 29th, second slowest in the NBA, 96.69 possessions a game. The Jazz continue to roll. Coming off an easy 114-89 win at home over the Lakers. They've won 11 of 12. They continued their barrage from the three-point line. Made 22 threes. Shot 46% from distance. Eight three-pointers during the second quarter. Second quarter. Shot 14 of 23 in the first half. Shooting 61% from three in the first half, man. Mitchell, 24.1 points, 4.6 boards, 5.3 assists per game. He's rolling. You got Jordan Clarkson coming off the bench, putting up 19.6 points. You have Gobert, a beast down the middle. You have veteran presence. You have all these different options from for a coach. It just it, this is a very complete, dangerous squad. The Heat have won four straight. They're playing their best basketball of the season. And I like it. I'm happy that it's covered. Uh, they're coming off a 116-108 win at home over the Raptors on Wednesday. Butler goes for 27 points, 14 of them in the fourth quarter. That's a game after him not coming playing in the fourth quarter when they had their comeback against the Thunder. I don't know how you don't just love this guy, Jimmy Butler. He, he, he plays a little while with, you know, Andrew Wiggins, and he's like, get me out of here. I need to play, be around winners. You know, I just I, I just love this guy. I don't know how you don't uh, – man, this guy, the, the way he's – his career trajectory should, you know, any any young guy trying to break into the NBA or – sitting on the bench in that first year or second year should look at Jimmy Butler and right. dream big and work fucking hard. Bam goes for 19 and 12, and he's questionable to play. I think he's going to play. But still, I last thing I want to do is make Yeah, for sure. Because in if, a pandemic, no. If we, get, if we get Bam out of the lineup and get eight and a half, I mean, that, I, I'll still bet it. I just want a much better number. Duncan Robinson goes for 17. Goran Dragic returns from the ankle injury, goes for 15. Eighth win in their last 11 games. Hero out, Bradley out. You know, might as well have done for the season. What a fun, fun game, Wham. Take it away, Jazz Heat. Yeah, just the, the questionable injuries is what's kind of like holding me back from being, pulling anything on there. The Tyler Hero, Bam, injuries, that's kind of holding me back. But if you look at the numbers here, you're going to say that there's going to be no way that the Bam or anybody – available or not they're going to be able to keep up with this team just based off of what they've been doing is shard shooting they shooting 45 percent from the three the utah jazz man i just don't want no issue with that man i just don't want to go up against it <laughs> i've been beat up already before twice honestly i have bet against them against a team that i thought they were going to take advantage on the defensive side in the sixers and i thought the lakers was going to play some sort of defense against these guys that they haven't but Am I supposed to think that the Heat can do it? No, I don't think so. So I don't think that it's a good spot to bet uh, against this Utah team that's going off, killing everybody, bro. Number one, I'm sorry, number three in in three-point percentage. Number 17th, though, in opponent three-point percentage for this Utah Jazz team. So they have been giving up the three. So if this was a healthy team in the Duncan Robinson that was making shots, you probably would have some confidence in that eight. You know what I mean? You really would have a lot of confidence. So uh, I don't think it's a shame. I mean, I don't think it's a, um, a scenario for us to really back the heat in this spot, to be honest with you. Just to raise, just to raise the running scenario with this Utah uh, Utah Jazz team, the number two in rebounds. I, again, man, I just don't want to go ahead and jump on them. But it is a spot that I think we could take advantage of some of these props. I know um, Kyle, uh, Mike Conley's, has been saying that he feel, you know, a little disrespected. 
he's not playing like he's disrespected. His last three games, 43% from the field, 50% from three. A lot of his shots is coming from three. I mean, you could get a, a three prop on him. I think that would be a good look for you in this spot because, I mean, it's not like you could count on these guys to give up any uh, threes. They're going to give up some threes. The, uh, two and a half. Team, so it's two and a half. Minus 118 to the over. Minus 118 to the over. See, <laughs> that's, that's something you probably don't want to take right there. But that's what I was thinking, though, in this spot. But other than that, that's the only way I could play this, bro. Yeah. Oh, geez, my voice is broke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that should hurt right there. Minus yeah. 118. That would, that would hurt right there, honestly. I was hoping that minus 105. I was like, yeah, I could take that, but not yes. as much. Yes, it's very tough. Not that I owe him four day, bro. I can't do it, bro. Jesus. 41 years old, voice is breaking, <laughs> popping pimples before the show. Mm. Well, I hear that. Uh, Jazz Heat, it's going to be a really fun game. I want the Heat. I want to I want to go up against the Jazz here. There's no need to make it, to move it now. Right. I know that, uh, God, I just would love to be in that locker room for Butler pregame in speech against it. Everybody's going to start playing up against these Jazz. And it's not like... The Jazz are coming off. It's I don't. It's, I'm not sitting here saying it's a terrible spot for the Jazz. I'm not saying anything like that. Not at all. But the Heat are sitting at home, licking their chops, playing the best basketball of the season, want to test themselves against the best team in the league. They're going to get that opportunity here. So, if regardless, money's going to come in on the Jazz. So we'll see what I can get come tip off, and if it's six and a half or seven with Bam in the lineup, I'm going to take it. Right. We I, like move that, I like that, though. They're going to make these shots. They got to make these shots, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be right there with you, bro. 